your film was, I think, one of those special films that are significant because they tell an important piece of history that a lot of people don't talk about or know about. What was your inspiration of writing this story? Well, that's that, that form of using uh, historic events um, uh, and characters, uh, ordinary characters walking them through that is, is something that I've always strove to do because I think it's, it's one of the most important ways to educate people about these events that they don't know about. And in this case, I had already known of the, the Armenian genocide through research I did for Hotel Rwanda. And then to be given the opportunity and the budget to do this was a gift to me. Um, it's always interesting to see a film where the writer and director are the same person. Mm. What was that experience like for you? It's something that I always strive to do because in the films that I make generally, you don't have enough time and you have to um, think on your feet and manipulate on your feet. So if you're the writer and director, you, you can change things on the, on the go. Um, so it's a, that's the way I like to work. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think it's helpful to getting the movie made uh, as fast as you can and hold it together. What do you think of the fact that the Turkey still deny the mm -hmm. Armenian genocide? Well, from a political point of view, uh, you can see why they do it. Who wants to uh, acknowledge that, you know, that a genocide was in their past history? But I think they have to. They have to understand. First of all, it wasn't the Turkish. The Turkey didn't exist at that time. It was the Ottoman Empire. So they were the real perpetrators. But the Turkish, uh, successive Turkish governments have decided to suppress this story and to actively campaign against it um, for whatever political reasons. And, and, um, and they've managed to use their strategic power to have various governments deny or refuse to recognize the genocide. But they're not going to get some sort of rec uh, reconciliation or closure until they do that. Why did you choose to tell a love story during a time of war? I think that the form is one of the best ways to capture an audience, to give an audience something to identify with. I mean, ultimately, we're making a piece of entertainment. That's my challenge, to entertain people first. And I want people who have no particular interest or may not want to see a film that they think is about a genocide. This is a story of four people caught up in a genocide uh, and you, uh, hopefully the audience will identify with them and walk through it and come out feeling not that they've been satisfied, that they've seen a good film, and also to learn something. Yeah. Um, the cast is very diverse and mm -hmm. international. Was that important to you? Very important. I mean, we tried as best we could to get Turkish actors. We only actually got two in the end who were either not afraid or uh, felt that they could contribute to it. But it was really important to get Middle Eastern actors uh, to be authentic, and and I know Oscar in particular strove to embody the culture and the accent and the whole mannerisms of Armenians at the time. So yeah, it, it, authenticity was vital for us. 